This independent activity list is absolutely exactly vital for your acting. This is something that is incredible. You can literally use this list to be able to get like two to five years worth of acting material for actually acting classes, which is incredible. So listen, this list has stuff, it's, uh, it's when I get everything together, it's gonna be over 1,000 independent activities. And uh, it has everything from writing eulogies to um, building a, your own ukulele, and you know you, you want to be able to look at this and also look at the other materials. There is a list that's about independent activities and there's also a list about emotions. Now the emotions list is something that you can use to be able to, to find your emotional preparations. So you can go down and you can actually go down the list of emotions and that affects the emotion that you give into your emotional preparation is going to affect how you actually do the independent activity. You know, you might be really angry uh, at somebody for, um, for dying and you're writing a, 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 a eulogy. Or you might be just completely, absolutely destroyed that somebody's passed away. And this is something that's a totally, absolutely different con construct that actually happens when you're doing these independent activities. So look, these independent activities include uh, changing bicycle tire, uh, building birdhouse, uh, taping auditions, uh, perfecting choreography, uh, crafting a fly for fishing, uh, perfecting, um, sorry, um, cleaning the trumpet, um, building the ukulele, which is in the store. There's gold leafing for a lamp base, which is in the store. And there's folding animal napkins, making balloon animals, paper machete. You can make paper machete activities, uh, decorating cookies, uh, do taxidermy of your favorite pet. Oh, that's heartbreaking. And the other one is wrapping presents. And this is just some samples of some of these. And work with this list. You can get it in the store as well as the emotional preparations list for $5. And you can then have a printed copy that you can actually go and you can work off of and actually make notes from. And I highly suggest taking that emotions list and making sure that you write down what it is. You want to brainstorm stuff in your real life that's able to activate that emotion. If you're working with emotional preparation. And then you also want to be able to work with imaginary. So what's an imaginary circumstance that you could brainstorm based off that emotion. And when you do this for yourself, all of a sudden, I'm telling you, you are opening up your own floodgates for your own talent. There are links in that description that you could actually use to improve your acting. You can help, to, it can help you to improve your creativity. So there are, are um, independent activities, there are reasons at the door, there's lists of programs, there's um, lists of emotions, there's programs that you can do, and there's also ways that you can actually contact me for private coaching. So listen, please do yourself a favor and check that out, you know, right down there in the description box. This is what this is about. I've seen over 30,000 acting exercises. It's been a lot of work and I am only absolutely just on the cusp of starting to release all the different stuff that I've been working on. So please absolutely figure out how to join me on live feeds work with me comment in the section if you've got an independent activity i don't have on the list feel free absolutely put that down as a comment and and then work with me and and work with yourself to find your own talent it is not about trying to follow a technique that doesn't work for you it's about finding a technique that does so if you work with that emotions list and you work with this independent activities list you're going to give yourself incredible, incredible, incredible advantages in your acting classes. So work with this and, and, and um, let me see, is there any other note? Um, if you're working with emotional preparation, it's key to be able to remember to activate that emotion. There are feelings, there's instincts, there's thoughts, 
and then there's emotions and you want to get to the point where you're actually in a situation where you've got this feeling that's turned into a deep feeling and then you kind of sit there for a minute and see if that deep feeling becomes an emotion and if it becomes an emotion all of a sudden there'll be these responses that start to well up inside of you and that's the kind of thing that you want to get you want to get that deeper thing in you and then you activate that deeper thing in you and all of a sudden your work it will just pour out of you all of a sudden you'll be sitting down writing a eulogy and you'll just have like this incredible experience and what will happen with you when you're doing these independent activities with with emotion with emotional preparation someone will knock on the door you either might not even hear it which is possible or it will just completely startle you and and because you're involved you're involved in these things called independent activities or Meisner activities or you know and how you can dive into this and, and really focus your concentration to be able to do this so listen I really love absolutely helping people to be able to find and be able to really upset themselves so <laughs> uh, please you know boop the like button and I'll see you next time Okay, so I teach people how to get upset. I have a lot of fun teaching people how to literally purposefully upset themselves, actually waking their own activations up so that they're emotionally activated. There's something that they can get upset about within a ballpark of emotion. But the key, the absolute key, is I don't want you to carry around that stuff in your life. That's what's called acting baggage. You want to be able to learn a technique. I have to be able to tell you that it's, it would be a disservice for me to teach you all of these incredible techniques on how to access yourself as an artist without reminding you very nicely that you don't need your acting baggage in life.